It's puck time Wednesday. Carmine Bianco in the press. Uh, you can get our show every day at Wager Talk TV uh, on our YouTube channel and at wagertalk.com. Carm, uh, wearing black, looking good, dude. What's up with the outfit? Where's the Juventus shirt? Yeah, man, I've been sick for the last two days in bed, man. Uh, I'm watching tons of sports on, on uh, TV, but uh, the U of A jerseys are behind me, man. Uh, Champions League next week. I know this is a hockey show. Champions League next week. And just going to be a huge month of uh, soccer coming up, I'm telling you. How's your soccer doing, dude? You're usually rolling. Yeah, soccer's been good. Totals have been fantastic. Uh, been, and, uh, towards the la- end of last year, I fine-tuned um, uh, a systems total, and it's been working pretty good. It's hitting at about uh, 70% right now, uh, about 25 plays in for the year so far. So we're just going to keep keep at it. Let's talk some hockey. Uh, I went to the Leaf game on Monday night. It was awesome. The Leafs looked so good, dude. But, I mean, they played an Anaheim team that's just reeling. Yeah. it's I, I understand. And Anaheim looked pretty bad last night against Montreal as well, too. Um, like, Anaheim's just a sell. You, I had the Leafs uh, 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 in that game, minus one and a half. And I, I was never worried about them actually covering that puck line. Uh, just... Um, this is just not the same Anaheim team. And they, they've got guys like Perry and Getzlaff, guys that, you know, we used to watch a few years ago, but maybe these guys are getting getting on uh, in age. They just do not look good. They're, well, they're ready for the offseason. I, I think it's not only the age, Carm. I think what's happened is in the last five or six years, we've just seen the, the league explode from a speed perspective. You know, Getzlaff is a slow player. Uh, Anaheim is just a slow moving team, uh, and, and they, they're, they're built wrong. They're built badly for this uh, day and age. And, and I felt the same about the San Jose Sharks. And I had a five unit play last night on Winnipeg. Bloody hell, Carm. I mean, they scored their it's, Winni- Winnipeg. Yeah, you know, yeah. No, you know, the, you know, the thing there is, and, and, uh, you know, I, th- I thought Winnipeg was a good bet last night as well, too. Um, Patrick Line, like he's struggling. He's got like what two goals in twenty-one games. Well, perfect um, timing for Winnipeg, though. Now they're going to get to sign him for a hell of a lot less than Matthews. <laughs> but even their power player, their power play, which is usually very, very good, just didn't click at home last night. Uh, if they if they if they connect on any of those power plays last night, they they probably put that game away. Yeah, you I mean, mean they they had four or five late, and 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 the funniest thing is they lost on a power play uh, in overtime. And there's no excuse for that. You're four on three in OT. You got to put the puck in the net. Yeah, Uh, no, I agree. I agree. It was, uh, (laughs) you won your five, you won your Uh, five star last night on St. Louis seven and O run, right? Yeah. uh, Listen, you know how St. Louis is playing hockey right now. I've been watching, uh, over the last little while, they are playing playoff hockey now. They know they need to get into the playoffs, and they're just it's their playoff hockey. They they are just they're forechecking, they're backchecking, they're just uh, their defense is playing solid. You know what I mean? The game going to Florida it can be a, a, a tough trip sometimes when you play that uh, sort of that Florida Tampa Bay uh, duel there. But um, uh, you know they fell behind uh, one nothing in the first. Uh, I was lucky that they got out down one um they could have been down two th- two three nothing and the game would have been over uh they got right back in it early in the third when after going down two nothing and they just they just dominated from the second period on in my eyes so uh, i'm glad they won but they're a team that you have to watch over the next little while they've been on the road i think for like 11 of their last 12 games or something um it, it's just it's unbelievable they had like a five or six game trip they came back they played i think it was the senators and then they went right back onto the road. So they're they're winning and they're winning on the road. So which bodes well for for this team moving forward. I thought it was a gutsy call last night, Carm, on St. Louis on the road in Florida. So great job. Uh, we're we're going to be working on a promo for you, right? I mean, you and Johnny are talking about a promo. Is it up? Is it ready? 
Yeah, I, I think it should be up at some point uh, early afternoon, but uh, we're going to do like the rest of the NHL season and playoffs. Um, we're going to include, uh, we're either going to discount or include a coupon, but it's going to be an absolutely great deal. It's going to go out to uh, to everyone, and uh, um, it, it's a great chance to save a lot of money uh, and get everything from now till the uh, Stanley Cup Finals when uh, I'm assuming it's uh, your Leafs versus uh, the Jets. It, it, listen, uh, Leafs versus the Jets or Calgary Flames would absolutely ruin hockey in the U.S., wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't care. All Canadian team final. I don't uh, care. Go Leafs. Go Leafs. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, listen, make sure to check back to at wagertalk.com for Carmine's NHL promo or email missy at wagertalk.com. That's missy, M-I-S-S-Y at wagertalk.com. And trust me, man, I'm good in NHL and Carm's kicking my ass. Uh, you got to be playing Carm's hockey plays. Uh, it's been one big streak after another since the beginning of the season. And if you want some extra money, if you want to go play the main event uh, in July in Vegas and you want Carm to pay for that main event, just buy his package. And he uh, won't, I, <laughs> he I won't, thought you were give my address. No, no, just buy his NHL and, uh, you know, bet a couple hundred bucks a game and you'll make enough money to uh, play in the main event. And you don't even need to pay Carm for your winnings if you win the main event. It's not a stake. He's just doing it as a favor, right, Carm? Sure. Do you know that if you literally if you take a hundred dollars at even money and you roll it over what six times, you've paid for the main event. There you go. Carm, let's get into the uh NHL card. <laughs> Only two games tonight. Let's start with uh the Toronto Maple Leafs. We've already spoken briefly about them. They're at home tonight playing the Senators, and, uh, you know, last There's, time they last time they played the Senators, they they overlooked them. They played them in October. Yeah. They lost 5-3. I don't think they're going to overlook them now, and I think no. with the Matthews contract signing, I think you're in a situation where uh, the, this team is going to be feeling really, really good about themselves. They just put together probably their best performance of the season against Anaheim, both offensively and defensively. And they've got the Senators uh, on a four-game losing streak. Uh, Toronto, you know, they, they've won two of their last three. Uh, no, they've won three of their last four. And uh, the problem here is we find them at just a massive favorite, minus 300. Uh, the over and under in this game is six and a half. And I'll tell you flat out, I like the Leafs minus one and a half in this game, and I like the over. You know, Ottawa is a team that can score. However bad Ottawa is, uh, sure, they put up a duck against Detroit, and a duck, that's, that's for my cricket followers. My cricket, <laughs> my cricket fans know what a duck is. Uh, but they did put up three against Pittsburgh. I mean, this team has, has got speed. They just really stink on defense, and I think... I think we've got like a 7-3 kind of a game written all over it. I think it's going to be a big blowout. Uh, I would bet the over in the first period. I would bet the over in the game. Uh, any thoughts on this game? Yeah, you, you can't take the money line. It's uh, Even if you absolutely love the Leafs and you, and you thought they were that one word we should never use, which is uh, a lock, you cannot lay minus 300 uh, at any time because the bottom line is – you lose that game, and you've got to win three of them just to make your money back. It's uh, um, it, it's a bad bet. It's either you take the goal line, uh, which right now I'm I'm looking at Pinnacle. It's minus one and a half, uh, minus one oh eight. Um, listen, I, I said the Leafs were a buy in my in my last write up. Um, signing Matthews was the smartest thing. They were gonna. I mean, all media. What do they talk about all the time? Um, the Toronto media, all they talk about all the time is uh, the contracts. Um, are they signing Matthews, Marner? Are they going to have enough money? Uh, this is all you ever hear. They got rid of the Matthews thing. They've, they've already addressed the Marner one where Marner's, Marner's own camp said, we'll talk at the end of the season. So this removes everything that the Toronto media could probably do to dislodge this Leafs train moving towards the playoffs, which is great. So the focus is back on the team and nothing else. 
Uh, a great addition with Muzzin. That guy's throwing his body around. I love the guy. Um, and we but, got you know, him getting the next back year. To, yeah. And then, but, uh, you know, talking about like the game tonight, uh, I would lay the one and a half minus 108. I don't have any plays up, but these are the, the, the plays that we're discussing today is what I'm taking. I'm taking the least <laughs> minus, uh, minus a goal and a half. Um, the total came down a bit, uh, just juice wise. Last night it was, uh, uh, six and a half minus 125. It's down to like minus 114. Um, I don't see three goals from the Senators like you do. I do see the Leafs scoring. Um, the, you know, absent of the fact they played Anaheim last game, they've allowed uh, one goal in their last five periods, the Leafs. They fell behind 2-0 to, uh, to Pittsburgh um, and then won that game 3-2. And obviously it was 6-1 over Anaheim. So um, defensively, they're playing uh, really much well. better as well. Yeah. So, so, and, um, and Frederick unless, looks uh, Frederick looks amazing. I like. I honestly think you you would need uh, five goals out of the Leafs tonight if you're playing the over. Because uh, I don't see the Sens scoring more than. He's Carmine Bianco. I'm the Prez. Man, we're having sound issues again. And guys, I'm going to look into this. I'm going to get this fixed in the next few days. So please bear with us. Carm, let's uh, talk about the Bruins against the Rangers. You know, dude, I lost with the Rangers on Monday night. Uh, they dominated the Kings, and they lost in overtime. I lost with Winnipeg uh, last night, and that was another overtime loser. Uh, but back to the Rangers. You know, I, you know, Boston, I'm really struggling to bet this Boston team. Uh, you know, they, they beat the Islanders. They beat Washington. Uh, before that, they lose to Philadelphia, Winnipeg, and the Rangers. Uh, I'm, I'm struggling to get a grip on the identity of Boston and whether they can rattle off a big, long win streak. Uh, the, the number is too big for me at minus 160 for the away team. I think the New York Rangers are very live tonight at plus 130. I definitely lean on the Rangers in this game. And I also, Carm, I like the under. There's five and a halves and sixes on the board. Um, five and a half at even money, six at 125. I would pay the juice here and bet under six minus 125. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. I, I've, uh, I, I was going to suggest I, I took the under uh, this morning. I got it at uh, under six minus 118 on Pinnacle. Um, I, I would suggest the under here. Uh, the Bruins don't usually light it up. Um, and the Rangers... Rangers are a weird team. When you expect them to uh, to lose, they win. And when you expect them to win, they lose. Uh, they played in Boston and beat them 3-2 um, well, a week and a half ago, I think it was, uh, two weeks ago. So um, five of the, uh, what three of the last five for the Rangers have gone under. It, that's not a, obviously a big stat or whatever. But that L L.A. game, like, much like you said, you expect the Rangers to roll there against an L.A. team that are heading uh, – I hadn't are, are heading to the off season, but some somehow they found uh, they found a win on them. L L A. They're kind of uh, they put a couple of them together. Um, I, I can't take the I can't take Boston lane one forty five on the road um, until they start to string a bunch of wins together. I just can't take them. Um, it's either taking a live dog um, with the Rangers. Uh, you know, I kind of wish the Rangers had lost that game in Boston. You know, there's a little bit of that revenge thing there, but. Um, I haven't seen any starting goalies here. Uh, the only play for me in this game is, is really the under and nothing else. We're on the same page, brother. Hey, Carm, thanks for the show. Uh, thanks for uh, coming in at the last minute. Uh, Alex B. Smith was uh, a little bit under the weather, so uh, you made a we made a quick shift to the left. It's all, it, it's all, that, it's all that Coke and pop that he drinks, man. Yeah, <laughs> says an Italian who eats pasta all day. Uh, he's Carmine Bianco. I'm the Prez. It's uh, Wager Talk TV, Puck Time, Monday to Friday, every week. Check us out at sportsmemo.com and at wagertalk.com. And make sure to stay on top of Carm's promos. We've got one going up today for the rest of uh, the NHL season and playoffs. And Carmine Bianco's in must play mode, guys. Uh, email missy at wagertalk.com. And uh, we will, and, and, and ask, ask just, just tell Missy, say, Missy, I want a promo for Carm. I can't afford the price. 
here's my offer, and I'm sure she will take care of you. Carm, be well, my friend. Thanks for joining us. Good luck tonight, buddy. Good luck to you, buddy. I'll speak to you later.